in a couple of hours I'll be performing with my band um, in a Sonar Village, nice outdoor stage in about three hours. This is, my, this is my first time at Sona. It won't be my last time though. I'm really liking it. Um, it's nice that you get like a festival, you got stages, you got a camera and that, and then you turn and you look and then you see this building, it's just like this beautiful architecture, and then you turn and you can see where you can get your sangria. And then, do you know what I'm saying? It's all the things I like. I like it. Uh, playing live is, um, I mean, it, it, it's different. It's like you, you kind of get to bring the songs to life. Um, and the, it, the songs feel different when we're doing it live. It feels like we're doing it for the first time. Um, so every time it's like we're doing the songs for the first time, so, which is better for the audience, because I, well, I don't think the audience even realizes how much we enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? And you know, if we're not enjoying ourselves, then the audience is not gonna enjoy ourselves. So that's good, you know? I'm trying to learn some, Sp some Sp Spanish. I can interact. I've learned hola, uh, moi, that's it, moi, benga. People, music, pe music's hitting people's ear in a very different way than it used to when you had like records. Um, and I think people kind of miss that, the way that the music hits you. You know, when you have a CD or MP3, you have a very flat bit of music, it's like that. And then when you have it live, it's like that, do you know what I'm saying? And I, I think people miss that, miss being able to just feel like they're, you know, they're, they're, they can escape inside the music as opposed to just listening, listening to it as this sort of flat, you know what I mean? Thing that goes like that. So I, I, I don't think life's gonna go anywhere, do you know what I mean? I think people need to, to listen to music in a way that makes them feel like they can escape because, you know, that's what music music should be. It should be escapism. I think I'd be able to do the same thing 15, 20 years ago. Technology doesn't affect the way I make music. Um, I mean, I think so for my third album, what I want to do is, how you know, do it how like Ray Charles used to record music with a whole orchestra and everybody, and I'm rapping and we all go one, two, three, go. And we all book, and it's at the same time, and it's a live recording. Do you know what I mean? I want, I want to go backwards. That's for me the things that, that bring out the most, um, you know, the most, the, the the biggest reaction in me are the things that are a bit further back. So it, it, technology wouldn't really affect the way I do it. I think I could, I think I could record songs in a, in a bathroom. Do you know what I mean? Just need something to record it, and we're good. To be honest, um, I don't think there was any one particular point where I, I kind of noticed a change in music. I mean, a change in it, like any one particular point. I don't really notice it now. Um, it, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm kind of out of the loop. I don't really, I don't really get too much into it because I think it's, it's not a good thing as me as an artist to get too much into the, what happens after I create. I think that should be somebody else's job. That should be the people at the record label. Do you know what I mean? It, I think it should just be my responsibility to make the music and, and let. Because if I did, then I'd be, I'd be, it would make a change in the way I make music. If I, because then I'm thinking about, thinking about you, before I even start to make the song, and it's not a good way to start.